Now, personally, I'd say out of the whole load of stuff that needs to go up a mountain, the Matterhorn, with you, the most important thing in that bag is the brew kit. Motivational music to climb the Matterhorn. Dead men tell no tales. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a good one, the Matterhorn, isn't it? Yeah. You come back dead, you've got no tales to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Roy deep in thought contemplating how he can pack his bag easier and get more in it Morning everybody, this is where I slept last night, next to me bike, everything's going fine, no aches and pains this morning, but I've got loads of mileage to do, bit of difficulty selecting the first gear but I'm going to move the gear change lever, see if that helps, and um, I've got a lot of mileage to do today, all the way to Switzerland, hopefully, we'll see, all the way to, to Lauterbrunnen, to see the wingsuiters, should be fantastic, anyway, that's all for now, Jane, put the link up to me just giving page, and I'll see you all later. All the best peeps. Ta-da! Well, there he goes. Morning everybody. Had a great night's sleep last night on the uh, Grimsel Pass. 2,150 metres, I think it was, something like that. It's nice. Woke up in the night a couple of times, needing a piss, needing a drink. But it was beautiful. It's totally still. It's a big lake there and there's not got a ripple on the lake you know and the, the the clouds in the sky were completely still and, and they were broken so I could see all the stars and and, and just before it got dark the, all, the, all the mist came whizzing up over the over the hill and then when I woke up this morning it was completely clear and I woke up at about half five six o'clock in the morning completely silent no cars no trucks nothing got on the bike drove down the pass windy road it's absolutely brilliant. Think about the hang of them now, these windy. They're going quite fast. It was quite oh, it was really good, really brilliant. So here I am now. Look at the view. Getting near to uh, Brig. And then it'd be Visp. And then Zamat. There's my motorcycle. It's a lot of gear there, isn't it? <laughs> Rucksack on me back. This thing's strapped on the back here. You can't see because of the shadow. Anyway. I shall be in Zamat in about an hour's time. Well, Tash in about an hour's time. And then I'll unpack, sort out all the gear I'm going to take onto the mountain. And then get the little train into Zamat. And then 
see where I go from there, but I reckon I'll be getting on up the ridge as soon as possible. Get some more altitude, get the training in, get my body ready. It's all looking good so far and I'm feeling a lot better today. Desperate for a coffee, but I've just had a coffee now. I've got a coffee from, from Co-op Cafe Express. Coffee to go. Anyway, all the best people. See you later. There's my little tent down there. Let's zoom out. See if the camera can cope with the exposure. It may take it a while. Here we go. Look at those clouds. Sort of developing over those mountains there. Amazing this one, it's like a big arc. I'll zoom in on it. It's good, isn't it? You gotta take a photograph of that. There we go, ready and there you go, got a photograph of that now. It's good, isn't it? So a bit of a zoom out here. See what's going on. Oh, there's me there. Been collecting snow to melt, digging it out the ground there. Well, not ground, digging it out the snow there to make water. Zoom out again and going up here. Here is the Matterhorn. Everything changes so quickly here. Sometimes the mountain can be like completely clear and then like five minutes later it's completely clouded over. It's totally still, totally beautiful. Seven o'clock in the morning, the sun's just popped over that mountain there and then went boosh in an instant and lit up the Matterhorn. Can't hear anything apart from the alpine, what are they called? Alpine, those little birds, the black birds flying around. Forgotten now. Chuffs, was it? Alpine chuffs. And rockfall. And the water flowing down from the melt. Had a brew. Been watching climbers going up. It's Twenty past four this morning. Here yeah, is an alpine chuck there. Look, There's a couple of them there. They're not like normal crows. They dive bomb. They make strange noises. I've been collecting snow to melt, to make water, but because I was only coming up here for acclimatising, I thought, uh, I won't need my ice axe, and oh those gloves, oh I think I forgot them, oh, and so what I'm having to do is I'm having to break, step over here, this rock hard ice into this thing here, using this rock, 
and you'll see that that's good, it breaks nice and easy. Yeah. Excellent. And then once you've done that and you've broken a bit of it, you want to scoop it up and put it in the pan. Then you have to stick your hands into this stuff to grab it. But the bits that you haven't chopped are like razor sharp. Razor sharp. So, well, can't complain. Not really complaining. Just uh, would have been a bit easier. Got the ice axe, wouldn't it? Everything changes so fast. I had something to show you, but by the time I got me pack off my back, it was uh, it changed. Oh, there's a bird of prey down there. I've never seen that before. Look, a bird of prey being chased by an alpine chuff. I'm just on my way down to, to meet Jerry. Um, he's arriving later today. And then we're going to sleep somewhere in, we don't know where yet, Doss out somewhere in Zamat on the floor. Um, and then come up on. Tuesday and then we have left my tent and everything up there and then Wednesday we go for the summit and the weather's looking better then the weather's a bit peculiar today it changes all the time things are things are uh, going well feeling fitter uh, Need to perhaps eat a bit more. Probably a bit dehydrated. Ran out of water last night. About well, I don't know, ran out of water. It's too late to be able to get any more. Really, I didn't want to go and traipsing around in the dark, smashing up ice to make snow. So it melts into, you know. Anyway. I'll be down there in a couple of hours time and I'll be able to get a, get a nice drink then from the, uh, the the waterfall in Zamat which is free. Toodle pipper now. Now I just watched that video back, which I don't normally do because it wastes battery power, but I wanted to see uh, if the wind noise was a problem. 
so I'll put my finger, my thumb over the microphones now and it should be better. But, uh, it's only literally a few minutes and look how it's changed already. Completely changed now. See? Completely changed. Like a different place. So I'm going to be going down there, down that track. See the track that goes around there. And then down the zigzaggy thing. Off that way. And down there somewhere. That's where the cable car station is. I'm going to get the cable car down to the map, which is down there in the valley. Yes. It's quite beautiful. Clouds billowing down there. I love it when they do that. Quite special. It's a shame to have to experience it on my own. But at the same time, it's quite nice too. Okay. Bye for now. I don't think anybody built a hair of word on this video. Is Jerry having his nuts? Put my finger over the mic so it doesn't get the wind noise, you know. And I think it's still, well, still should pick up down. sound. Take it off now. Take it off now as you can notice. Can't beat nuts! Can't beat me nuts! <laughs> Jerry's been shopping. Jerry's been shopping to wait for us. This is what he's brought back. A couple of bags of snow. <laughs> Got the cooker on there, melting the snow. Got some noodles here with cheese, bread. For our gear, there's the Matterhorn there. Climbing that tomorrow. And there's the tent. And all our gear is still to unpack and sort. That's it for now, folks. Hi there, everybody. On well, my little uh, hmm, situation last night was a bit funny. I was driving along and then I thought, oh, that thunderstorm looks a bit bad. Um, oh, the kettle's boiled. Hang on. Ah, yes. Oh, look where we are. <clears throat> Start this again, I think. Yeah, so I'm driving along and I'm thinking, oh, that thunderstorm looks like it's getting a bit, oh, there's lightning, it's getting a bit.
closer. Perhaps you should pull up and start thinking about maybe getting under some shelter or something. Yeah, what about this Erdaloon here? Oh, it says it's got toilets and food. Oh, no, it doesn't have toilets and food. It's just a car park. Well, that'll do, no problem. Well, you know, maybe I can put the uh, tent over, you know, some... Oh, shit, it's starting to lash down. So, quickly, pulled everything out of the bag that I needed, grabbed the tent, th tent cover, threw the tent cover over the bike, as like so, as you see here, threw it over the bike, lashed it on at the front, onto the brake lever, and onto the back, around by the grab handles, and then I had it quite tent tight across there, and all I had to do was knock, up a, knock a pole through the things, stick another pole here, lean the bag on it, hey presto, little bivvy spot. It wasn't quite like, when I, like this when I first made it, I just sort of threw something over myself because it was a bit of an emergency. Uh, I was getting drenched, completely drenched. I've been riding for today for about, well yesterday sorry, for about <coughs> six hours or something in the rain. Uh, it wasn't very pleasant. But then again, it was better than sitting around for six hours in the rain, if you know what I mean. Uh, didn't get completely drenched through, it wasn't so bad. You know, yes, I was cold, hands were wet, legs were wet, bollocks were wet, wet down my neck, helmet was, you know, I was a bit uncomfortable, but I'm not complaining. And I do, have, and last night I did have a whole wealth of um, cold weather, alpine clothing with me, so nothing to worry about. Uh, I knew it wouldn't be cold, and it was, uh, it was fun, but certainly another little adventure on this big adventure of mine. So, as you see, the kettle's just boiled. I'm going to make myself a brew, have a fag. Hopefully, I'll be able to clear all this up quickly and uh, get on my way fairly shortish, soonish. And I hope my, my motorbike jacket isn't, no, well, my leather jacket isn't soaked through. That's one of my. Uh, Priorities, I want to keep that dry, you know. Like uh, wet leather is not nice to wear, and I do want to wear it because I feel safe with that jacket on. I mean, full armor on yesterday. Going through, um, going through was it yesterday, uh, Bern, going through Bern in Switzerland yesterday, and lashing down, my helmet had, my visor had missed it up a bit, and. Um, <clears throat> raining yeah and uh, traffic everywhere I was only going slow but then I'm not sure which wheel I think it was the front wheel or it could have been the back wheel but I think it was the front wheel I'm not sure one of my wheels got stuck in a tram line and the bike started going all over the place I thought this is it I'm off this is I'm definitely gonna crash here and I, I, I put my feet down on either side of me you know like stabilizers and uh, I think it actually may have helped. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it did, but it was sort of the bike was going all over the place, and I was trying to get it out of the tram line. You know, it was uh, well, it's funny in retrospect, but I'd dropped the bike on the floor and broken one of the foot pegs off, or you know, I'd have been in the shit, wouldn't I? <laughs> or me brake front brake lever. Oh, that wouldn't be so bad. Front brake lever. I've still got the rear brake. Foot peg. I suppose you could use a climbing sling. Clutch lever. Got to spare one of them with me because people always drop the bike on this side. Right, got a cap full of hot water and uh, I'm going to make a brew. A pile of jippos just pulled in over there. Hmm. Oh, looks like they're having fun. Anyway, a little bit for now.
one whole Mesna look alike. -y. Oh my god. Oh, look at you, you lovely man. Look at you. Love the beard. <laughs> oh, sassy dog. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs>